let's take a look at the Flash welcome screen. Now, the welcome screen is going to appear every single time whenever you launch Flash, and he's always kind of ready to go here. So this is the area, of course, that I'm referring to here, this window here. And the nice thing about this is as soon as you launch Flash, as I say, this guy is going to show up, and this is going to allow you and I to get started right away inside Flash. So we don't need to head to any menus or anything. We can just head to the welcome screen. Now, let's take a closer look here. Inside the left-hand column, as you can see, we can create a new document or a new Flash file, sometimes referred to as a Flash movie, from a template. So, in other words, Flash comes loaded with some pre-created templates to help us get started right away. Some advertising templates or animation templates, banners, and so on. You can explore through these if you wish. Below that, we can open a recent item. Now, this is a brand new installation of Flash, so I don't have any recent items here, but as soon as you and I get working with files and saving out files and so on, we're going to see a list of files underneath this recent item header here. What we can do at this point, though, is we can go and open a file if we wish, simply by clicking on Open, and that brings us into the Open dialog box. But I think what I'll do here is I'll just cancel that out. In the center column, we can go and create a brand new blank file. And as you can see, there's all sorts of different types of files that you and I can work with. We can work with ActionScript 3 files, ActionScript 2 files. We can build files specifically for Adobe Air. There's Flash Lite. There's all kinds of different things that we can work with here, which is fabulous. Now, normally myself, if I'm going to create a flash animation or a flash movie intended for the web, I would be creating an ActionScript 3 file. Even if you and I aren't going to be using any ActionScript or maybe we don't even know ActionScript, this would be sort of the default file that we would want to work with. Below that, we can launch Flash Exchange. You can go and explore that if you wish. And then the right-hand column allows us to go and learn more about Flash. Maybe that action script issue is sort of haunting you and you want to go and learn more about it. We can click on number six there, action script, and go and learn more about action script. Or you could learn more about publishing to Adobe Air if you wish. Or you could learn more about symbols and so on. So that's kind of a, a quick tour anyway of the Flash welcome screen. Now, some people don't like the welcome screen. When they launch Flash, they want to get right into the, the project that they're working on. They don't want to see this. They don't want to see this welcome screen. So let me show you a neat little trick here. What I'm going to do here is I see two panels at the bottom of my interface. I see timeline and motion editor. We'll get into working with panels. We'll get into working with the timeline and the motion editor in due course. But at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on timeline. And what that does is that actually collapses down that panel group. And now I see some additional options down towards the bottom of the flash welcome screen that I didn't see previously. We have some additional links here, getting started, new features, developers, designers. There's the Adobe TV sort of spot there down towards the bottom right. And this is what I wanted to show you. Don't show again. You can turn this option on if you wish. And the next time you launch Flash, you won't get the welcome screen. In other words, you can just get started right away building your files. What you could do, for example, if you wanted to, is you could turn off the welcome screen and then on the Windows side, you could hit Control-N, or here on the Mac side, you could hit Command-N to get started with a brand new blank Flash movie or Flash document. Now, you may have noticed here, as soon as I turned on Don't Show Again, I get a dialog box coming up here that says, to turn the welcome screen back on, choose the Show Welcome Screen option from the general category inside Flash's Preferences dialog box. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK here. You'll notice that the welcome screen does not disappear. Again, it will disappear as soon as I quit out of Flash and restart it.